I grew up in New Jersey and um, my parents were very active at the time in local community theaters. And I do believe that is every reason why I love to do what I do and why I was lucky enough to get to do what I do. I saw the man lighting the show. I saw how they make the costumes. I saw who does the makeup, you know. And I think all of that was so thrilling and exciting to me. I absolutely believe it is vital that we have public funding for the arts. The president today signed a bill to establish a national council on the arts and humanities to encourage, with federal interest and federal money, about $20 million a year, all sorts of cultural efforts. The president explained some of the things he expects to happen now. We will create a national theater to bring ancient and modern classics of the theater to audiences all over America. Well, the Arts Council is very important because it unified the state's efforts and said for the first time directly, the state has a responsibility and an interest in the arts. When it started, it was very small, didn't have much influence, but it was the beginning. The beginning of anything is important. Arts Council has grown in their responsibilities, in their size, in the amount of money they have to deal with. And of course, with the Arts Council, the arts in the state have grown. You know, the Arts Council is an integral part of the success of arts in the state of New Jersey. They really, really fight for the cause of how important the arts are in the community and in the state of New Jersey. There's so much art here in New Jersey, and so much of that is because we do have an Arts Council that is absolutely passionate and committed to the work, to artists, to communities, to supporting it in schools, to making sure that artists are respected, are trained, so, uh, are given resources. It's my great pleasure to introduce. You know, there's something about New Jersey. There's so many opportunities here to see great art, to participate in great art, to um, view it at museums and at theaters, the and that He's makes living in New Jersey really unique and special, different than other parts of the country. New Jersey State Council on the Arts is a great friend. A great friend in many different ways. One, uh, they provide some financing for things that need to be done, but more importantly, they provide great promotional help. And those are the two things that all arts communities need. Expect the unexpected. Discover Jersey Arts. Expect the unexpected. Discover Jersey Arts. I think there's a moxie about the people of New Jersey. There are so many known people in the arts from New Jersey. There's got to be something to it. <laughs> Jersey is, is a real, growing, dynamic, sort of unfathomable space for me. It's, for me, talking and writing about New Jersey is a way to enter into a larger conversation. It has the Cubans, the Puerto Ricans, the Chinese, the Vietnamese, the Africans, the Trinidadians, the Jews, the Italians, the South Asians. So you have all these languages, and the food, and the poetry, and the music, and the jokes, and the folklore of all those languages jangling together, doing business together. You know, the state is, is at a crossroads, and crossroads are always places where stories get exchanged and differences get to collide and make something new. Whitman said, a great poet needs a great audience. We have great audiences here in, in New Jersey. Again, I don't understand why they don't give the Arts Council more money. Because it's money you're investing. It's not money you're spending. You put dollars into the arts and it spreads and it grows. The arts, you get more back. But it's also to help give people hope and enthusiasm and pride about their community. For me as an artist in South Jersey, the support of the Arts Council and support for the arts in general in South Jersey is significant because we can often feel and sometimes actually are operating in a little bit more isolation. In a way, I would almost make the case that, you know, the support is more important there. The values that we really believe in in this country the values of respecting each other and each other's points of view. Uh, all of that is done through the arts, and all of that is done in the arts. 
And the arts aren't just entertainment. You learn from the arts. I've seen children go on to college that never thought they'd go to college. I've seen children that are on the brink of a lot of dangerous behavior shift that around because they now have an outlet, they now have something that they can do. And let alone kids that just shine because this is who they are and what they love. Such a great musical tradition in New Jersey, uh, in this area, in the public schools. So you get all of these kids from all over the area to come together into this one amazing group where they're with kids like them who care so much and prepare so well. Anne Hathaway, Academy Award winner, started here as a young person and went through all of our programs. And Shanice Williams, who was the star of NBC's The Wiz Live, also one of our young people who's risen to stardom. And I think of home, I think of a place where there's love overflowing. I believe that we have a state that demands excellence and that we have a community in this state that is gonna to continue to uplift each other. All liberty excels. New Jersey is such a state and we, we feel such support from the patrons, from the public. It, it, it really is great. I think it's wonderful that the New Jersey State Council on the Arts is providing funding and support to the biggest theater in New Jersey, to the smallest little 99 seat house. I think it keeps arts thriving, it keeps artists thriving. And I wish them more continued success and a very, very happy 50th anniversary. You never, ever forget when you have a really great arts experience. It's with you always.